Wolf, what are your thoughts on the in-season tournament? <laughs> Don't get me started. Get you just said <laughs> stop it right now. You know what? Can I just say this, based on needs right now? We all know how I felt about the pitch clock, right? The pitch clock. Oh, I didn't like it. How dare you? Are you kidding me? It took 150 years for this generation to sit there and say, the game is too long, right? I, I couldn't. And then halfway through the season, I absolutely fell in love with it, the pitch clock. So um, I recanted on the pitch clock, basically, a long time ago. And now the maybe angst I'll of your eye. Same, maybe I'll do the same thing on the in-season tournament. <laughs> Suns and Lakers tonight. Uh, mind the 8 o'clock tip, everybody. Here come the Suns, by the way. Tips off uh, at 6 o'clock. A full 90 minutes of pregame coverage right here on 98.7 before you get uh, over to Bloomer and TK for the Suns report. Uh, Wolf, uh, listen, they're not going to have Devin Booker uh, tonight. That broke last night. They're not even going to wait to uh, to the old game time decision. Uh, so this will be game nine for the Suns. Booker's only played in two. Obviously, Beal's back, but we still have not seen the big three on the court. What's your level of concern right now for Book? You know, honestly, um, it's interesting you use the word broke because it broke me when I found out Book was not going to play tonight. <laughs> it's just this guy, I, I think he might be my favorite professional athlete. Seriously, Devin Booker, because of how he competes and the way he goes about his business. Um, I was talking about classy nasty yesterday. That's exactly what he is. He's classy nasty. He's got class, and yet he goes out and he competes to a point where it gets a little chippy from time to time right there. And yet he's got all this talent, and all he does is work, and he works on both ends of the floor. This guy is is the, the person that this Suns organization has totally built around and they are continuing to do it. Devin Booker is a bona fide superstar and I love watching him play this game and I'm excited to see what he can accomplish. So because he's out tonight, having said all of that, I'm sitting here in a corner just sucking my thumb metaphorically speaking. I can't believe this is going on again. The, the anticipation of it all. I'm not blaming Devin Booker. I'm not blaming him. I'm not pointing to him and saying, are you kidding me? No. I, I'm, I'm just pouting Basinonians because I want to see him compete. Nobody wants to be on the court more than Devin Booker. Uh, you can believe that. It's interesting. Booker's lack of availability because, of, remember, it started with the toe, then it was a foot, then it was a left ankle sprain, now it's a right calf injury. And, I mean, the season's just barely two weeks old. Booker's injury issues right now have now made their way into the bloodstream, Wolf, of the national media. In fact, it was a topic on Get Up This Morning with Mike Greenberg and uh, NBA reporter Monica McNutt. Greeny asked McNutt about Devin Booker. Here you go, everybody. How much of a concern is it that we just aren't seeing these three guys together? Ah, Lee, uh, I, I don't like this at all. This, this one to me is a little bit more concerning than what's going on with the Lakers. I didn't necessarily see the Lakers as a true championship contender, just in terms of what we're used to seeing. These guys, the goal is very clear. The squad was assembled to contend for a championship. The last time that we saw Ad Star, Ad Water championship was the Toronto Raptors with Kawhi Leonard. Right. And you could argue that if you don't see injuries in the finals with the Warriors, maybe that doesn't turn out that way. So it is imperative, even at the elite level that these three guys play, that you have time on the floor together. Now, we're still in November. They don't need probably as much time as the average guy might need in terms of building chemistry. But I'm also like, you just signed a brand new deal. Like, you come into the season with an injury already? What's going on? And uh, you mentioned that Bradley Bill will be, re will be ready tonight. So those guys got to get on the floor together. Well, with all <laughs> due respect, no, thanks, Monica. Yeah, with all due respect, uh, you, in terms of when you get injured, your body doesn't know what time of year it is. So, yeah, it's early in the season. Look, I'd rather have the injuries come now, Wolf, right? I mean, they got a lot of time to still play together. We're not even at Thanksgiving <laughs> yet. If Booker and Beal were beat up and it was late March and they, we didn't know about how – proficient or efficient they were going to be and they had these nagging injuries that I'd be a little more worried I mean the fact that Booker right now is kind of nursing these nagging injuries in November I, I, my only thing and again I'll say it again we just all want to see him play together that, that's that, all that's, it is. that's the that that's the angst that's it's not it like is. oh my god they're not going to compete for a championship because Booker's got a bad calf in November that's ridiculous <laughs> I just you have to laugh at yourself you have to. 
Like, what are we doing here? I Absolutely. This is what I was doing. You know, just look. When I found out about this, I did. I went into this deep, dark hole. Like, what is going on here? Can, can we just see Devin Booker out with Bradley Beal and Kevin Durant? That's exactly what it was. I, I'm so done with the Suns injury report. <laughs> right? I mean, and yet I know I'm, it's childish. Knock it off. Bone up. Just because you want to see it, now you can't see it. They played eight games. Eight games so far. The in-season tournament is starting tonight. And there's not, you know, shut up. I, I, I can't believe Booker's not playing hurt for the in-season tournament. I, I, <laughs> I mean, you've got to laugh at this point in time. It's kind of like the KD thing. Remember when KD first showed up at home? Oh, oh no, oh no, when's he gonna play? And then he rolled his ankle and oh man, it was bad. It was really bad right now. And I think it's the ghost of KD. Well, I gotta say, yes. when KD got hurt and rolled his ankle in warm up, this was more my reaction. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't see that coming, Mel. That was good. And rightfully so. They only had limited games to get ready for the playoffs and, and gel, and Durant missed a huge chunk thanks to a wayward step in warm-ups, for crying out loud. I mean, it wasn't even in a game. So, okay, Th they're going to have plenty of games to play together. I guess, you know, you worry when Booker <laughs> comes back, you know, does Durant go down? And, and, and that, But we'll, we'll jump off that bridge when we get there. Oh, yeah, that's, that's <laughs> going <laughs> Wolf, Monica McNutt mentioned the Lakers. Before we hit the break, the Lakers are in town tonight. They just came off a of shellacking by uh, the Rockets, and Anthony Davis didn't play in that game. And they are hoping he get him, they get him back tonight. Lakers are 0-5 on the road. Remember the Lakers started horribly last season, though, and still ended up in the conference <laughs> finals. Oh, so yeah. so they, they, are, they are fighting their own injury woes. And again, 0-5 on the road uh, as the Suns are back home tonight. Again, the NBA in-season tournament group play opens tonight i don't wolf i, I thought vince Morata brought up a good point on this because it echoes what i was saying the other day too if you don't care about the in-season tournament fine at the end of the day this is a friday night nationally televised game against lebron james and the la lakers there's plenty of juice there without a label of the in-season tournament yes yes and that see that's where i am on this right now i, I am I might change my mind based on earnings. I, I might, just like the pitch clock. That's why I brought it up. I might change my mind and say, man, you know what this in, this in season tournament thing is? It's kind of cool, man, the way they're doing it right. I might. I don't think I'm going to. I don't think so. Um, but I might. For me, it's about the competition. I, I, it's a game tonight, a Friday night game against the Lakers. That's what I care about. I just want to see the Phoenix Suns get the big three together and start playing basketball. That's what I want to see. I'll take my thumb out of my mouth now. And they would be playing this game anyway. It's just labeled a little different. And ultimately, if you win enough of these group play games and you survive the knockout round, again, games you'd be playing anyway, you get to go to Vegas for a couple of games and play in a semifinal and maybe a final. Vegas! Uh, the, the first, yeah, the first week in December. That's where it gets a little different. All these games are regular season games, except for the championship game, which only matters for, obviously, the two teams uh, that get there. All right, Nevada, thanks. Las Vegas. Have you heard of it, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen? <laughs> yes, we have. In fact, I think we should take the show on the road, and I'm not even a part of this show, but we should all go to Las Vegas. I think Wolf's got a hookup at the Circle. I was going to yes. say, <laughs> I know where we could go. That's right, and they got plenty of big TVs to watch. Gather around the transistor, everybody. The Suns are in the semifinals of the new in-season tournament. All right.